Satellite images have uncovered something no one expected. Full-scale replicas of U.S. aircraft carriers and destroyers built deep inside China's deserts, some even placed on long rail tracks. Why recreate giant ships so far from the ocean? This video breaks down the real purpose behind these structures and how they're used to test advanced tracking technologies. Deep in the remote deserts of Xinjiang and Gansu, satellite photos have revealed an engineering project unlike anything typically associated with naval activity. Full-scale replicas of U.S. aircraft carriers and destroyers positioned hundreds of kilometers from any coastline. These structures, spotted through high-resolution imagery from Maxer and Planet Labs, are astonishingly precise. Their lengths, deck layouts, island placements, and overall shapes align closely with well-known dimensions of U.S. carrier classes, making the replicas instantly recognizable even from orbit. What makes them even more unusual is the presence of rail-mounted platforms, where ship-shaped targets are placed on long tracks stretching across the sand. From above, these platforms resemble giant metal silhouettes gliding along a desert highway. The purpose of these installations becomes clearer when you study the environment in which they're built. China's deep interior deserts offer a natural testing ground, vast, isolated, perfectly flat, and rarely affected by civilian activity. That makes them ideal for controlled measurement. Engineers can track precision trajectories, record sensor data, study impact patterns, and run repeated simulations without the variables that complicate sea-based testing. The lack of humidity, weather variability, and ship movement creates a clean, laboratory setting allowing researchers to isolate specific performance behaviors. These locations have evolved over time. Older satellite photos from the early 2010s showed simple ground outlines resembling carriers. But newer images reveal fully structured models projecting above the surface, suggesting a transition from basic shape evaluation to more advanced signature testing. Some replicas appear reinforced to mimic radar reflections, giving guidance systems a more realistic target. The fact that multiple versions exist, ranging from simple flat silhouettes to raised replicas, indicates China is experimenting across different technological phases. Adding to the intrigue, one site features what analysts believe is a representation of the U.S. Navy's newer Ford-class layout, implying that these replicas are updated as international fleets evolve. Observers who follow both astronomy and Earth imaging often compare these types of discoveries to megascale field experiments, vast installations built not for spectacle, but for precise measurement. Once you understand how detailed the replicas are, the next step is understanding how they're actually used. These desert structures are not part of any dramatic scenario. They function as precision calibration tools for long-range tracking systems, sensors, and advanced guidance algorithms. China's well-known long-range missile programs, often discussed internationally for their unique ability to reach distant maritime targets, depend on extensive testing and data evaluation to ensure accuracy. The replicas offer exactly that kind of controlled environment. Modern long-range systems rely on a layered chain of sensors, including satellites, high-altitude drones, over-the-horizon radars, and ground-based measurement stations. Each component contributes data that helps a guidance system recognize, track, and adjust toward a large, moving target. By placing a carrier-sized replica on rails, engineers can mimic linear movement and test how well a seeker or tracking platform follows an object that changes position over time. It's a simplified version of real-world motion but incredibly valuable for tuning algorithms without external interference. Precision is everything in these technologies. Guidance systems must identify a target shape, distinguish it from the environment, and refine trajectory adjustments during the final seconds of approach. The desert test sites allow researchers to confirm whether radar signatures match expectations, whether simulated movement registers correctly, and whether the final approach behaves as predicted. Data collected from these evaluations informs software updates, sensor improvements, and trajectory prediction models. China's remote testing approach reflects a familiar pattern seen in other nations with advanced technology programs. Start with controlled discoveries, gather clean data, develop confidence in the system, 
then integrate findings into more complex field scenarios. For China, these desert sites serve as a giant outdoor laboratory. They help assess how well various tracking networks work together, how guidance systems handle long-distance adjustments, and how accurately advanced technologies respond when pointed at an object the size of an aircraft carrier. The result is a continuous cycle of refinement. Each test, simulation, or evaluation brings engineers closer to understanding how their systems perform under ideal conditions before transitioning to more unpredictable environments. This structured approach gives insight into how large nations quietly validate emerging tech. While these desert replicas might look dramatic, understanding what they actually mean requires stepping back and seeing the larger picture. The presence of these structures signals that China is investing heavily in technologies designed to observe, track, and evaluate distant maritime objects with increasing precision. But it's equally important to recognize that a stationary desert replica is not a full representation of real-world conditions. It's a laboratory environment, not a replacement for ocean dynamics. Real aircraft carriers travel with escort vessels, shifting positions frequently, operating within large groups, and using sophisticated systems that protect their location and reduce visual and electromagnetic signatures. These factors make the real ocean environment far more complex than a desert test range. That is why analysts view these mock-ups as calibration tools rather than definitive indicators of real-world capability. They show determination to gather data, not proof that the entire targeting chain functions flawlessly under unpredictable conditions. The bigger strategic message is about China's long-term technological direction. Building replicas this large requires planning, resources, and sustained engineering commitment. It suggests an emphasis on developing advanced sensing, tracking, and predictive technologies that depend heavily on real-world experimentation. These efforts tie into broader national objectives, including enhancing confidence in long-range systems and improving the consolidation of data from multiple sensor layers. Another important aspect is international perception. When satellite images of these replicas circulate, they create discussions among analysts, governments, and the public. Some see them as ambitious scientific testing grounds. Others view them as part of a broader shift in global maritime dynamics. The truth typically lies somewhere in between. These sites highlight how global powers increasingly rely on data-driven testing to refine capabilities while also navigating sensitive geopolitical landscapes. The replicas also represent a moment of transparency, intentional or not. Even though the installations are remote, they remain visible to commercial satellites. This visibility makes them part of a broader information ecosystem where governments and independent researchers observe one another's advancements through open imagery. Ultimately, these desert structures offer insight into how nations prepare for technologically complex futures through measured experimentation, incremental refinement, and careful data collection in environments designed for clarity and control. So, why is China building fake aircraft carriers in its deserts? Because a flat patch of sand is the perfect place to turn theory into data. Those mock ships let engineers tune guidance algorithms, test new missiles, and rehearse an A2, AD strategy designed to keep powerful fleets at a distance. At the same time, they reveal where China still has work to do, turning carefully controlled tests into capabilities that actually function against agile, defended carrier groups at sea. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.